Odetta King with odettaking.com where I help you with your career, your business, your finance, your education, and strategize to help you create additional streams of income as well as save more money. Today we're talking about um, two started, starting shocking facts. Hey, welcome Ty5 on. Thanks for joining. Welcome. Where are you joining us from, Ty? Today we're talking about, um, I'm, I'm here in New York and we're talking about some startling facts, thanks for the hearts, we're talking about some startling facts um, that affects American savings. So um, number one, number one, 51% of Americans are not even saving 5%. Yes, that's shocking. That's really, really, really shocking. 51% of Americans are not even saving 5% of their income. Stats number two, 49% of Americans are at least saving 5%. 49, 49% are saving 5%. Again, very shocking. 63% can't even deal with a $500 debt, emergency $500 debt, that's 63%. And the last point is number four, a third of us are not saving at all. A third of us are not saving at all. So let me ask you a question. For those of you that are on the broadcast right now, are you guys saving? Are you saving? That's something that you want to ask yourself. Are you saving? And are you saving? And if you are, that's wonderful. But how much are you saving? Are you saving enough? It is recommended that we save at least 10 to 15% of our income. 10 to 15%. Now, because we're not doing what we're supposed to do when it comes to finance and saving. Now, I get it. I know there's a plethora of reasons why a lot of us are not saving. Um, and really and truly when it comes to your money, there's two things you want to think of. In terms of you controlling your money so that you can save more, you have to think in terms of one, how you can make more money or earn more money. If you don't have enough money, you're not going to save. And odds are even sometimes when we do have enough money, we still don't save because it's not embedded in us. Or two, and not, option number two when it comes to controlling your levels of money is you want to be able to cut costs or what you're spending. So with that being said, knowing these shocking facts, right, that a lot of us are not saving and even if we are, we're not saving enough and then a third of us Americans are not saving at all, which is really, 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 really bad. Um, and like I said, I know a lot of us why the reasons is that we're not saving. I, I, I honestly, I really do know it. For the most part, I mean, statistics shows um, why we're not saving. For a lot of us, we're just not making enough. And then two, you know, there's so much debt that we've accumulated over time between school debt, tuition loans, um, emergencies, childcare, um, utilities, rent, all that good stuff. You're selling bananas. <laughs> Are you selling bananas to make some money? <laughs> Trump makes enough for all of us. I know he makes enough for all of us, but we ain't spending it. <laughs> We're not spending it. <laughs> so we gotta, we gotta go make enough for ourselves, so we could have enough one, and we can two save enough. Um, yes, I need some money. Good, good, good. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate. So. Because we're not saving enough, because we're not making enough, and because we have all these other factors that are coming from different angles impacting our saving goals, we need to be able to put some structures and, and place some disciplines in place to help us achieve our saving goals and one, even possibly earning more income or earning more money. Hey, thanks for joining us, Terra Twos. You don't understand, okay. So where are you joining us from? So we're talking about 
why you need to save more. We all know why we need to save more, right? We know why we need to save more. We need to save more for, hey, we need to save more for emergency. We need to save more so that we can afford a good lifestyle, live comfortable. We need to save more just to cushion for those rainy days. Hello, welcome from Santiago, Chile, in the house. Hola, como esta? <laughs> um, so, some of the facts based on us here in America, 51% are not even saving 5% of our income. That's 51%. We're not saving 5%. So that's a problem. Problem number two, 49% are saving at least 5%, which is still not good. 5%, 49 are saving. And then three, 63% of us cannot even deal with a $500 emergency debt. So we know the situation is bad. What are, you, what are we going to do about it, right? And a lot of us, the reason why we're not able to make these savings, hello, bonjour, hi, um, hi, Lazuli. Thank you guys so much for the hearts, and thank you for sharing the feed. Really appreciate it. Hello, welcome, my chef. Thanks for joining. Guys, where are, you jo where are you guys joining us from? I know I have Chile in the house. I have friends. Who else do I have joining us? Hello, Luna2001. Thanks for joining. So... We know that we're not New Orleans. Wow, welcome. How are things in New Orleans? Hi, 96HFC, thanks for joining. Guys, if you can do me a favor and share the feed, um, you can swipe up. Hi, welcome. You can swipe, click the Perry guy and swipe up or swipe across to share the feed with your fellow Periscope and Facebook friends and Twitter friends. Friends, okay. So we got France, we got Chile, we got New Orleans. I'm trying to understand your analysis. Okay, so are we clear that we're definitely not saving enough? India, welcome. India's in the house. So because we're not saving enough, we want to help you guys. Pakistan, welcome. Because we're not saving enough, we want to help you guys to save more. And we are helping you guys to save more by doing a couple of things because we've already identified that we know we're not saving enough. We know we need to save more. So what are we going to do to save more? We're going to help you save more by participating in a 30 day savings challenge. I do it, do it for the vein. Okay. <laughs> um, so we are actually going to be, for those of you that wants to take charge of your finances and help you to save more money. We're actually, hi, welcome, thanks for joining. For those of you who actually wants to take charge of your finance and challenge yourself to save more money, we're actually going to be having a free 30 days challenge. In this challenge, it's packed with tools, tips and tricks of different techniques that will allow you to save more money. Now, the challenge can be for people who are living in the US as well as people who don't live in the US. Yes, so it's a challenge. We're, we're helping you guys to save more money by participating in a 30 days saving challenge. And the way the challenge will work is every week, well, first of all, the challenge starts on Friday, this coming Friday, April 15th where we'll kick off the challenge and we'll talk about the do's, don'ts, we'll talk about some of um, the big initiatives, and most importantly, we're helping you to save $500 over the next 30 days. So the challenge will start on April 15th, that's this coming Friday, and it will end on May 15th. And by the end of May 15th, hopefully you will have, by doing what? It's a savings challenge that allows you to save your money within 30 days. So we're shooting for a goal of $500, whereby we're helping you to save $500 over the next 30 days. Hi guys, <laughs> thanks for joining. So the way this webinar, the, the way the, the challenge is structured, um, you can register for the free challenge in by clicking the link in my Periscope bio. My website is odetaking.com. Once you go to odetaking.com, um, click on the events tab and you'll see the challenge um, to register for it. It's a free challenge for 30 days. We kick off with a webinar on Friday, 9 p.m. 
Eastern Standard Time, we're here in New York. On the webinar, we go over big picture, we talk about some of the tactics, we talk about some of the techniques, and we kind of give you the tools in place to help you save more money. $500 in 30 days. It's a free challenge. Every week, once a day, once a week, I'm sorry, once a week, we meet here on Periscope and we discuss the challenge, how people are managing. Um, have you completed the task for last week? Are you having any challenge? Are you having any difficulties? Um, you know, we help each other. We have a Facebook group as well um, to help each other stay on track so that you can save $500. So we give you tips and tools to help you save $500 over the next 30 days. And every week we meet here on Periscope and we kind of check in with each other to make sure everyone is doing what they need to do or if anyone's struggling. And then we also roll out um, what the new tip is going to be or the new techniques are going to be for the following week because it's four weeks, okay? Does anyone have any questions so far? Hey, Mohammed, thanks for joining. Welcome. So guys, I mean, we all know that we need to save. I mean, we all know that. We all, it, it's just a no brainer. We all know that we need to save more. And I get it, a lot of us, for, for the various reasons why we're not saving is one, we're not making enough. And actually in the challenge, that will address some of those um, points because if you're not making enough, odds are yes, there's not going to be enough to put aside. So in the challenge, we cover three techniques that talks about creating additional streams of income, cutting your costs, and optimizing your bills. With applying those techniques, you will be able to, one, save more money. And like I tell people, it's a 30-day challenge. You have nothing to lose absolutely nothing to lose worst case scenario you don't make 500 at the end of the 30 days for some of us some of us are going to make more than 500 and some of us are probably going to make less but it's a lot better than starting with zero and ending with zero again you're starting with zero but the goal is to get 500 dollars of your own money that we're going to show you how to save effortlessly and to pick up those coins that are dropping in your day-to-day -day activities. Does that make sense? Great. Awesome. So if no one has any questions, um, I'm here Monday through Friday on Periscope. You can always catch the broadcast replay. Thank you so much to my broadcast replay viewers. I really appreciate the hearts. Um, if you know anyone that might be interested in buddying up and doing um, this 30-day challenge, feel free to share the broadcast with them. Feel free to click the link in my Periscope bio, which is odetteking.com. That's my website. And then you go to the events tab and you'll be able to register for the free challenge, which starts on Friday, April 15th. We're going to kick it off with a webinar and then we congregate here once a week and check in with each other, give each other tips, tricks, tools to continue stacking these coins so you can get $500 at the end of the 30 days. And the neat thing about this challenge is a lot of the principles that we're actually gonna be teaching you, you can apply it for even a larger amount. So, because these, these are gonna be disciplines that you're gonna have. Again, it starts with your mindset. So, if you're aware of it and you know of these principles, you can apply it in your daily life way after the challenge has ended. So, it's just a really, really, thank you, you're welcome. It's just a really um, great way to save more money and um, learn at the same time and it's a free challenge so you have absolutely nothing to lose so um guys i really really thank you so much for your hearts i thank you for sharing the feed and the broadcast is up for 24 hours so thank you to my replay viewers and i look forward to chatting with you guys tomorrow um and we'll see you on the kickoff to the 30 day saving challenge to help you save additional 500 dollars Thanks for the hearts, guys. Really appreciate. Awesome. Bye, guys. So I will see you tomorrow. Um, 
awesome and have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening wherever you are. Yeah.